I'm Kate Ward and this is your Dickman Farms Smart Gardening Myth. And today we're going to work on debunking some common myths for house plants that we have out there. And let's start with the biggest one, that I can't grow house plants, I don't have a green thumb. Well, that's just twaddle. Everybody has a green thumb. It's kind of like cooking or baking. Well, I can't do that either. Well, that's because you don't have the ingredients. So we're here to give you the ingredients. That's what we're here for at Dickman Farms, is to make you successful with plants. It's what we do and what we know and what we love to teach. So that said, all plants take a few basic ingredients. So your ingredients are light, water, and sun for the most part. That's really what you need. So light, sun, same thing, right? Oh, we're now down to two and water. Those are really what we need. So once you learn that, then we can work on the nuances. Think about the plants outside. These are the same plants. There actually are no indoor plants. Somewhere they live outside. So if we can replicate some of those same things that's given to them by Mother Nature, they're gonna be happy with us. So know that. Number one, there are no, no green thumbs. What? Yeah, you got it. You too can have a green thumb like all of us gardeners. Just know your ingredients, ask us, we'll help you. So when you first buy that plant and take it home, one of the other myths out there is that you're gonna immediately replant it. Well, it's in a little container, I better repot it. That's definitely not true in most cases. So we have some examples here. So if you go to the garden center, say, and you get this plant. Yep, I wanna repot it, it needs a bigger plant, it needs more room. Well, that's true sometimes, and most of the time it's not. So how can you tell? Well, they kind of fill out the pot when they need to maybe be replanted. But plants are gonna be happy in their pot size for the most part. They really want their roots to go out and touch the confines of their pot and fill in before they get transplanted. So one way you could check that is here's a Seb Blue Pothos. This is an unusual form and kind of fun to have. It's new here in the garden center and we don't often get it. But that said, boy, this looks a lot like this pothos, the normal type that you usually see. Well, how am I gonna know if I take it home whether or not? Well, one easy way you can do is you can look underneath. And in the two pots, in these little holes, you can kind of see little rootlets and a rootlet. Lots of little rootlets, a rootlet. But if we were just to go on top growth, we would have been tricked. So this sablu will live here, but if I were to take it out and take a peek, that is, filling out nicely, still has some soil room, so it's not pot bound, has some soil room, but this could be transplanted up. Now, if we had taken home this one, beautiful dark green leaves, and look, it's still working on the root to soil ratio. So this isn't quite ready to be replanted. Could it be? Yes, but it's not quite ready. So if I were to take this plant and put it in a bigger pot at this stage, there would be more soil than there would be roots in that new container. Well, who cares? Well, what happens if, when the soil gets in there, soil will dry out naturally, but the roots have little, these little fine hairs and they actually suck some of the moisture out of the soil. So it helps the soil to dry down. And when there's no roots in soil, what happens is that can stay quite wet, actually wetter than the roots may like, and it may also trick you in watering. So, like I said, it's not always, what you see isn't always what you get, so check before you transplant. Here's some good examples. Another reason of why you might transplant is here with these spider plants. So maybe you took this home. This is a pretty small pot. It might actually be pretty hard compared to the top size for you to keep it hydrated. So that said, you can even see the roots coming out the top and the bottom. It is looking to wander off. Now is a good time to transplant. So this size would probably go into something like this. And then we have a nice soil to root ratio. Here's a clear one so you can easily see. There won't be too much extra soil for this plant in this size, which is roughly a four inch. Then from there you could go into a six. This would probably be okay going from here to here, but you're gonna have to wait. So. That's what we actually did. We took this from this little guy, we took some babies and we potted them into this size. This is a young transplant, so if you were to buy this right now, you'd wanna wait. You can see the difference that a few weeks makes in those transplants, how much bigger as those roots get developed, those plants are. 
So one to two sizes, a little bit bigger when you're planting. So this in a four inch or in the six inch, okay. These guys in the eight inch or the 10 inch, okay. Those are good potting transplant sizes. So just bear that in mind. Take a look at the plants and the different it makes and slowly size them up. So they don't always need to immediately go home and get replanted. Just like you, they want to fit in, get comfortable with their space before they move around. And this has been your first of the Dickman Farms Mythbuster series. See you soon.